everybody. Uh, it's that time of year again. It's uh, cold, windy, and uh, there's snow on the runway. So it kind of worked out for me. I planned this to be my off season and get the annual done as well as some more upgrades to the airplane. Um, as you can see, it's nice and cold in here in the hangar. I haven't really established good heat yet. Um, I've just got a couple of the like torpedo blowers that go um, when I'm in here. So I'm gonna get it heated up in here and start working. I've been working through my annual and uh, I've got everything basically done for the annual. Uh, I've gone through the wings, gone through the fuselage, landing gear, brakes, wheels, tires, prop, engine. Uh, and now I'm gonna upgrade the avionics. So I've had a, uh, a shop build me a custom harness and I've purchased all the um, different avionics equipment and I'm gonna install that. And then uh, at that point, then I can start running all my serial numbers, check everything for ADs and everything and finish up the annual. So it's just kind of a win-win. I don't have to do everything twice. Um, so yeah, I've just been going through it. Everything's torn apart and that'll give me access to uh, reroute wiring and uh, cables and everything as needed. So yeah, that's why I haven't been flying. It's been a lot of that and home projects too. I replaced our patio door, uh, replaced some hinges, doorknobs and some upgrades in the house just to kind of take care of that since I've been putting it off uh, working on the airplane. So now I'm back to the plane again, so I'll kind of show you guys around uh, today, but that's just uh, an update since uh, I haven't really been doing any flying. All right, so you can hear the wind chimes blowing around right now. It's uh, real windy out today, and uh, the runway is basically untouched. A couple of kids rode maybe some golf carts or a side-by-side -side around on the runway, but nobody's flown in. Um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty quiet day. So in doing the annual, I found a couple of small things, uh, but nothing really major. Everything went pretty well. Um, I had to do scheduled maintenance, so I had to clean my fuel injector nozzles. I had to re-lube the prop, um, things like that that just come with uh, the time, you know, 100 hour or annual inspection. Um, but I did find that my P leads were great on my magnetos, but the grounding shield had uh, come loose. So I redid those, double checked those. Uh, that's always a good safety concern. So. Went through that. Um, I did find that my carpet is just destroyed. It's coming apart and I kind of knew it the last time, but the problem this year was all of that carpet, like dust, foam, disintegrated material is down in the underfloor. So I spent a considerable amount of time uh, shop vacuuming, wiping, cleaning, uh, getting that out of there just to make it easier to inspect and uh, just cleaner. I don't want that dust getting around and getting on the flight control pulleys and stuff once they've been lubed. So. Uh, it's time to come up with a uh, solution to replace that carpet and it didn't look great anyway. It's just been stained over the years. So uh, that's really it as far as the annual. Um, most of everything else was just doing the inspections and looking and everything turned out great. All right, so I have removed all the trays for all of my radios, um, COM1, COM2, transponder, and intercom panel. So here's the stack so far. Got all these. And then the encoder as well. So looks like a mess over here. I'm running out of uh, horizontal surface area to start stacking things all around the hangar. <laughs> but uh, it's coming along trying to clean up some wiring, remove some zip ties, and just make everything look better in here. Pretty clean, I'm happy with that. To insert the new harness, I 
through here is just going to be blocked off. And then now I just need to remove the actual upper panel. The harness includes the G5s uh, and some wires going to the EDM, so those need to be removed. Otherwise, most of it's removed, including the intercom. Uh, back here I had the passenger intercom panels came to the floor, um, so those have been removed. Yeah, so not too bad really, but uh, it's been a long morning so far and I'm going to keep working. y'all one thing that i'm really excited about with this avionics install is the com 2 panel which was in the lower left of my avionics panel um it was a really hacked up part of my panel and there was a lower end there then there was the com 2 and basically i'm going to remove all of that and i'm going to move my circuit breaker panel up to that point so if you've been following along uh, I have moved my circuit breaker panel a couple of times. Um, I went from the original fuses to circuit breakers, then I expanded it, and then now I'm just going to take it all out and move it up to the top. So I'm really excited about that. It'll have the uh, Garmin USB charger and then my dimmer for my interior lights, as well as the circuit breaker panel. So what I was working with before was this tiny little piece of metal. So this thing was you know, right beside my lower panel and I have made a replacement. So plenty of cleanup left, but I had to make a jig to uh, get this tiny little beveled edge on the bottom. And uh, it took me a little bit of time, but I figured that out, got that bent. So I'm really excited to get that to replace the existing panel because it was just, it was kind of weak. That thing was structural to the lower panel. However, at this point it was basically not. So uh, having that replaced will be stronger and then throw my breaker panel up there. It'll be, it'll be real nice and clean. So that's one upgrade that's going to happen with this avionics upgrade that I'm excited about. This is day one of the avionics uh, overhaul. So a lot of ripping out old stuff, getting everything measured, getting cleaned up, getting it figured out, getting a plan. And then uh, it's probably day three or four of the annual. So I'm excited. It's a lot of progress for that, you know, where I'm at. And uh, stay tuned, because there's gonna be another video and uh, a lot more to come. So I'm excited to get these mounted up, get them installed, get everything figured out. And uh, like I said, with the circuit breaker panel, it's gonna really clean up things. And I'm just excited to uh, clean up the plane, get it to where I want it to be. So follow along, there will be another video to follow this one for sure. And you guys will uh, probably see a lot of this progress as it goes. So thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for staying tuned. Uh, subscribe, like, follow along. I'm trying to uh, make videos for you guys. So let me know what you want. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like and uh, hopefully that helps. So yeah, see you guys next time.